Traffic Optimization Strategies Regardless of the traffic technique you have selected for your particular traffic conversion tool, you need to know how to optimize them. You can't just set them up and forget them. That is a surefire way to get mediocre results, assuming you get any results at all. You have to optimize. The name of the game when it comes to modern affiliate marketing is not only to drive traffic, but to select the best source and optimize it to convert it at a predictable level. If you're not doing this, you're playing the game to lose. Here are some ideas for you to chew on so you can come up with your own customized optimization strategies that fit your set of circumstances. Optimization Basics Here are the basic steps for optimizing online traffic. This is pretty general because it is designed to cover as many different types of traffic as possible. You have to modify them to fit the specific type of traffic you're trying to optimize. Step number one, discover what works. The first thing that you need to do is to lay out as many different traffic generation systems and pick the ones that work. These are the ones that actually deliver traffic. Pick the top five traffic producers, or if you have a lot of time to spare, the top 10. Step number two, do more of what works. Concentrate on your top five or 10 traffic sources. Either saturate these or find others similar to them and draw traffic from those other platforms. Do more of what works. Step number three, Come up with variations. Come up with different content or different ways of getting traffic from your tried and proven sources. Mix it up. Come up with variations of your traffic generation techniques. Track the results with each variation. Step number four, pick variations that improve results. After giving yourself enough time, it should be clear which variations work, assuming there are any. Pick the top three variations and forget about the rest. Step number five, Keep improving on your variations. Try to level up the traffic variations that you've got going and come up with new variations. Again, this all boils down to effective tracking. You're trying to keep modifying what you're doing to pick the most efficient and effective traffic generation method. Step number six, use an element by element approach, not total change. When making variations, vary one element at a time. For example, if you're buying traffic using ads on Facebook, don't just swap out the ad totally. Start with changing the headline. Once you have experienced enough of an improvement, then move on to the picture that you're using. Then after that, change the summary link or the description. Whatever the case may be, make changes on an element-by-element -element basis instead of swapping out the whole thing at one time. If you do wholesale changes, you wouldn't know which change accounted for the improvement in performance. You need to do element-by-element element modifications so you can pinpoint which change turbocharged your results. Keep optimizing each element until you can't get any more improvements. Then you move on to the next element to see if that can improve your results some more. Eventually, you would reach a point where the whole ad or the whole traffic generation method is optimized. Scale up your activities on your optimized traffic sources. What follows are optimization strategies customized for the different traffic methods discussed in the previous videos. Facebook ads. Step number one, do multiple test buys. Run maybe five different ads. These must look different from each other, use different texts, and go to different URLs. Keep in mind that these URLs are different versions of the same page that you are promoting. The URLs are different because they are tracking URLs. Spend very little money at this stage. A $1 daily ad buy per ad is a good idea if you're testing five or more ads. Step number two, pick the winning ad. Pick the best traffic producer at the end of your test period. Deactivate everything else and stick with the winning ad. Step number three, do element by element optimization. Change the winning ad element by element. Start with the headline. Make five different versions of the ad, each with different headlines. Run your campaign again and see which of these variations generate the most traffic. Deactivate the rest, and then take the winning headline and see if you can come up with a tweak that would increase the conversion rate. Run the variations again and pick the winner. Keep repeating this until you cannot improve the click-through and conversion rate of the ad. Move on to the ad's picture. Run the same ad, but with five different pictures, and repeat this process again. At the end of this process, you would be able to identify the best performing ad because you have optimized all its elements starting from the headline to the picture, to the description, to even the link. Step number four, scale up your ad buys. Once you have identified your winning ad, which converts at a predictable level, ramp up your budget and let her rip. Google AdWords. 
The secret to Google AdWords is to find keyword and key phrase targets that have high intent. In other words, just by reading these keywords, you can tell that the people typing them into Google really want to buy. Grab as many of these high intent keywords as possible. Drive them all to your landing page. Make sure your AdWords and analytics accounts are linked. This should be enough to help you track which keywords produce the most clicks to your landing page. After this point, you're going to run conversion tests. Step number one, pick the highest CTR keywords. Step number two, customize your landing page. Keep changing your landing page so it converts at an optimal rate. Create completely different landing pages and use them for all the keywords that are working. Let the test run for a week or two. Step number three, come up with variations of your winning landing page. Come up with variations of your winning landing page on an element-by-element -element basis. Start with the headline, then the body, graphics, and call to action. With each test, come up with different variations. Pick the winning variation that converts the most, and once you cannot improve an element's results any further, move on to the next element. Step number four, increase your daily budget. Scale up the amount of traffic you get from Google because you know that you're going to be able to convert it at a certain point. Content-based ad traffic. With this form of traffic conversion, you drive traffic to your content site. Once there, they can see ad graphics or they can see text links. When they click, they see the affiliate offer that you are promoting. Pretty straightforward. It doesn't matter whether they click on a picture or a link, they end up at the offer. When you're using content, you have to be proactive in customizing your content so it converts your traffic at the highest levels. Here are just three that are great at pulling traffic from the internet and also converting them. Clickbait using scam or fraud alerts. People don't like to be ripped off. Accordingly, when people hear about a hot new program or a hot new product, they want to know if that offer is trustworthy. Many would enter the name of the product and the word fraud, scam, or review at the end. Because people who enter that information are usually interested in buying, but they just want more information so they can decide whether to go through with the decision or not. When you create specialized content that appeals to those people, you may not get as much traffic, but the traffic you get will be highly qualified. Even if you are not selling the particular offer they are researching, you can offer content that gives them information and then directs them to the offer that you are promoting. This operates on a bait and switch type of model, but using credible content. Never underestimate the power of fear. Clickbait for social media promoted blog posts. Use text heavy header graphics which grab attention. The title of your posts must get people to click through. Newsjacking. Find a tight correlation between late breaking high interest news and your niche. You can get quite a bit of traffic with this method, especially from news websites and social media. Your content ads must be news specific as well. Email list marketing. You have to use the variation, testing, winner selection, and variation technique I've mentioned in the opening of this video. You're going to have to use this across the board. When you do email list marketing, you actually need to optimize five things. Your freebie, your squeeze page, the headlines of the emails you send out, their content body, and your call to action. You might also want to optimize the offers you promote in your emails. Review content optimization. Run trial and error testing for your title. Come up with many different variations. Pick the winner, come up with more variations, until you get a lot of people reading or dwelling on your content. Your metric for success here involves click-throughs as well as dwell time. Next, optimize the format of your review content. Pay attention to how you set it up, and then come up with different versions of how your review is set up. Maybe review different products. See if this format change has an impact on ad click-throughs as well as ad conversions. Once you have a clear understanding of which formats work, use that format for your whole site and see if that improves conversions all around. Keep making variations until you find one that works at a predictable rate. Video Content Optimization To optimize the video content, you have to target as many different keywords that are related to your niche. There are many software packages out there that enable you to create custom videos quickly and cheaply. You basically feed this video certain pieces of content, and then you can switch different elements like your voiceovers, sound effects, and graphics. The videos are still talking roughly about the same subject but there are enough changes in the video for YouTube to not ban it. Avoid uploading the same video over and over again to YouTube with different keyword targets because you're spamming that keyword. 
your account might get banned and you're not going to make any money. Target as many different keywords for your niche using videos and see which ones get the most views. Once you have identified keywords that get the most views or the most traffic, come up with better videos for them. Next, you're going to use different titles and descriptions for your video and see if this increases click-through view rates as well as click-through rates on your link. Make sure to stick to videos that send traffic, which actually converts. Also, you may want to change the offer in your videos. Maybe instead of using direct link to the affiliate product you're promoting, promote your squeeze page instead. See which approach leads to better conversions. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.